puzzles and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. This has been fascinating. Uh, my next guest has been with us a couple of times. I guess that would be two, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay. Several is, uh, <laughs> I guess, more than two. Uh, and he always brings some fascinating uh, objects and puzzles for us. He's the games editor for Omni Magazine and the author of this book called Omni Games. Would you welcome Scott Morris? Scott? <laughs> This has been a, been a popular feature here because you always bring things that are a little tough to understand, impossible things. What do you got tonight? I just brought a couple things that some readers sent me. Here's a... Well, you, you say what that is. And now it looks like a cigarette tied in a knot. True? That's, what's, that's a real cigarette, and one of my readers sent it to me. Now, the trick is, how do they do it without uh -huh. breaking the cigarette? Have you tried... Most that? people... I tried... Uh, most people say, well, you wet the cigarette. Right. And if you do that, it's going to rip much sooner than if you don't wet it. Mm -hmm. If you try it with any cigarette, it's not going to work. Have it's... you tried to do this? Uh, I mm. tried it the way the magicians do it, and I wasn't able to do it successfully. Well, I have a cig well no, you can't do it. It's going to break immediately. So, yeah, well, it's mm -hmm. okay. This, this, th are we supposed these, to guess, or are you going to tell these, us how this is done? Since these border on magic tricks, and you used to be a magician. Are you going to tell us how this... Uh... I, I could tell you, but isn't it more interesting it is, not to yeah, know in, right. a, in a certain way? All right, here we have a uh, <laughs> thing called baseball brew. This is just this came in from one of my readers. This is you a baseball see, and a bottle. You can see here is a bottle, and inside is, take my word for it, a baseball. It looks like a regulation size yeah. baseball. And obviously, you could not put it through the top. Well, obviously, that's how it got in there. I've got some strange readers. Couldn't, you, couldn't you now soak this in water and compress it down, then put it in there well, in the have water? Your, have your viewers try it and send you their results. Do you know how this was done? Yeah. And you're I'll not going to tell us. I'll tell you later. <laughs> look, look. You get your own show, he'll tell you. <laughs> No, don't, don't tell me. That's no okay. fun. I, it, it is a little more... It, it's like a good magic trick. When but you know how it's done, it, it, it loses a little. Everybody goes, oh, that's the way it's done. I want to show you a few optical illusions that have to do with faces tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and in many of the cases, the best thing for you to look at will be the monitor. I see why already. This, this is a spiral invented by magician Jerry Andrus. No, I'm, and I'm just going to I'm looking at the monitor now. Okay, you don't have to at the moment until I start right. it spinning. Uh, he's got it in three sections. The center section that goes one way, then the middle section goes the opposite, and then the outside goes the same way as the center. What I'm going to do is start it spinning right here and spin it at, at that camera there and have him come in as close as he can on it so that it almost fills the screen. All right. And have everyone in the audience and everyone at home stare straight at the center of the screen. This just, could lose his viewers right off. Just, I mean. just look at the center. Now, stare at that center. Right. You're going to have a nice after image. As soon as I take it away, I'll have you look at my face on that monitor. All right. Okay, another five seconds as you're staring at it. And we got to stare right at the center. Yeah, of this. you're fatiguing certain parts of your eyes. Now look at me. Oh. Look at him. You're look at, but looking at me through the monitor. You see, it lasts yes, about it, five seconds. Yeah, you... A strange... Uh, the, the, the skin seems to be bubbling like a Michael Jackson thriller. That's because it's irritated the... Yeah. Irritated well, what, the... what has happened is it's much like the waterfall illusion. If you've ever watched a waterfall like Niagara Falls, and you watch the water moving in one direction for a while, then look to the side and look at the trees, they seem to be going up a bit. What's happening is you're fatiguing the part of the retina in the eye that sees that kind of motion. Is that similar to looking at a full moon, the one that looks very large, and you say, why is the moon larger? Do you know how to put the moon in, in perspective and make it look smaller? If you bend over and look at the moon okay, between, between your legs, legs backwards, you'll find that the moon looks its normal size. I'm, yeah. Now, you try it. <laughs> get, get one of those nights where the moon, this after it's risen, looks huge. If you bend over and look through your legs, it'll look normal size. Now, don't ask me why. See? They think I'm making it up. I'm serious. Actually, uh, am I making that up? You're not making it up. It is one of the one of the ways to check the the moon illusion, and that's an illusion that says why does the moon look so big on the horizon, right, and not so big overhead, and yet they're about the same distance from us that's in right. both cases. But if you look at the moon on the horizon that way, it will look for some people. Some yeah. people for some people that doesn't seem to work. It's and very it still strange. Looks, on the horizon, it seems to look just as large. Okay, I didn't mean to interrupt. What else we got? We got a couple minutes here. Okay, bring out your um, oh, A stuff here. That's that's. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, let me show you this. What I have here is a, is a piece of plastic that, that is being used for a, uh, uh, 
a computer program. This is the way it comes packaged. You see, here's the way the nose is facing the audience, and here now the nose is facing backwards. What I'm going to do is hold it over this lamp, and if we can lower these lights and come in on that face a no. bit, and no. everyone in the audience will confirm for me that the nose is now forward. It's now coming toward you, That's right? That's right, right. And if, if the tr camera can truck to the side a bit, you'll see that it follows you. The face follows you, you see? Right. But here, the nose is going back. The nose is going back inside. That's very weird. Now, what, what's going on here is that the human brain comes equipped with, uh, with knowledge that light always comes from above. Right. And in the case of this, where we are giving you a very unusual image with light coming from below on, on the recessed concave version of the face, right. your mind says, well, that's consistent with light coming from above. You've got a shadow under the upper lip right here. Right. You've got a shadow under the nose, shadows under the eyebrows, as if the light were coming from above. But as you, you can see, sitting here is exactly the opposite. It, but of course, my hand goes inside here. Yeah. That's very strange. It's like... That's uh, because of the light source? Well, what, it's because we, light come, we have light coming from below in the case of this illusion, and most uh, people are not... Your, your mind is not uh, willing to accept the idea of light coming right. from below. If you ever look for pictures of, of uh, uh, craters on the moon, right. you've you got to get them just right, or they look like hills. You're right. All right, do we have a cookie here? Oh, we got some other faces, yeah. You, Half minute. Half minute. Okay, yeah. let's... Let's go with some uh, upside oh, down I know faces. What this is. You, know, you know what this, this is. This is very strange. Who is that upside down? That's it. Now, look what happens when you turn it around. Uh, now, upside that, down, we can take do a close that, that doesn't look too bad to me, does it? Upside down? Come look what happens <laughs> when you do that. I've seen that face. I've seen that. In the last few months, upside I've seen down. that face. <laughs> Okay, look okay? Come here, Lonnie Anderson. Lonnie Anderson, right? Look what happens. <laughs> but nothing happens down below. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Stay where you are. Well, I learned how this was done. Thank you.